Hi, this is James from Hornbill Technical Support and this is a short video to show you how to configure single sign-on for self-service. So as you can see here we're using the 750 Enterprise Client and this is Service Pack 3. Um, this will apply to all current versions, ITSM and ITSMF, um, for anyone for Service Pack 3 and below. So um, what I'm going to do first of all is show you which particular files in the back end need to be amended. There is a couple. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is go to the Hornbill uh, directory, Sportwork server, HTML folder. And within here we've got underscore self-service and then your self-service instance name for myself. It's self-service. So the first file we're going to go into is the index.php and within this particular file we have a one line that says var bool skip logon uh, what we want to do is change that from false to true save changes that's all we need to do in that particular one this just ensures that uh, the first logon screen is actually skipped so one other file we do need to change is within the course services folder within the http server conf and it's stated uh, httpd.conf so there's a couple of changes we want to do within here the first one is the line that states keep alive timeout we're going to set this to 1 rather than 15 then if you scroll all the way to the bottom there will be a section for directory and uh, we need to put in particular text into here so as you can see I've just pasted that in um, one thing you do need to make sure is in this actual directory that you can actually reach it so um, if you've not installed it on x86 uh, you may wish to change that to just simply program files or if you've changed your self-service um, name then that again that will be different. So I'm just going to set that back to x86. Other things I've done here is I've put in the company name and I've specified the actual domain name here as well. So that's all the changes we need to do in this particular file so I'm going to save changes and come out of that and there. And now I'm just going to talk you through what you need to do from the actual rich client and which settings you need to set up. So I'm going to my particular customer properties. Um, what the self-service will do is it will authenticate against your customer ID out of the box. So you need to ensure that this matches your particular AD logon name, your username. So in the access to self-service, uh, which is access to uh, service desk tab, uh, you need to put your password in in a particular format. So it's underscore SSPI underscore your domain name. One question we do get often is what happens if we've got multiple dom domains. You would simply just need to update this particular domain name to show your alternative domain. Your two domains would need to be set up for cross-trust and um, need to make sure that they do uh, talk to each other. So I'm just going to save changes there. There's only one more section we need to do and that would be to restart the SWHTTP server service. The reason why we'll do that is any changes to the HTTP.conf file um, which we've done uh, requires a mandatory restart of that particular service. I'm just going to do it one more time just in case it needs it. Okay, that's done. Um, so I'm going to attempt log into our my portal self-service and as you can see it skips the first logon because we told it to do so and it's automatically logged in